Hello Squid Army, so today I'm going to be doing a rundown of my top 5 favorite songs by Alec Benjamin. So, without further ado, let's jump in. If I killed someone for you, if I killed someone for you, that's gonna be a song, is the first song that I heard by Alec, aside from maybe, maybe Let Me Down Slowly, I think I heard like a friend doing a cover of it before I got on like Instagram or something, but the first one I actually heard from Alec was If I Killed Someone For You. Throughout listening to the song, you're probably a little bit worried that this man killed somebody for his crush. Alec is a stone-cold killer of himself. You see, it hits you with the line. Oh, you know the line. You have to understand that the way I killed was me, changing who I was from what you wanted me to be. Like, Alec, come on, man. See, he didn't just kill some random stranger. No, he metaphorically killed himself. He, he changed himself to be what he thinks his crush would, would you know, like more. And it's just like, Alec, you precious bean, Alec Benjamin, please don't. Please, and it's like, Alec. Yo, this isn't a movie, but if it was, that's like the best movie plot twist ever. Great movie. <laughs> the wolf or the sheep. Alec's songs usually tell stories. The wolf and the sheep uh, tells the story of Jenny, who wants to live forever. Sorry, I don't go with Jenny forever. But my take on it, at least, is that... She wanted it so badly that she was willing to trade anything for it, including her soul. So she found this guy, I don't know his name, we're going to call him a wolf, the big bag wolf. She found a big bag wolf and um, she sold her soul to him in exchange for immortality. And she eventually regretted it. Oh, and on top of the great, perfect example of be careful what you wish for, it also just sounds really nice. Steve. Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve, says every homophobic person ever. Well, in the song Steve, there's Adam, there's Eve, and there's Steve. Nice compromise for you. The message is, you know, don't be greedy, you know. Be thankful for what you have. Be grateful for what you have. And it's a very adorable song with a very adorable chorus as well. And then, of course, the chorus evolves. And then he takes it back to himself. And it, it's just a really good song. And I really like it. I love it. It's and it's really adorable. <laughs> Pretending. Pretending is, from my understanding, the story about a girl who can't accept that her and her uh, boyfriend's relationship is ending. You know, her boyfriend or husband is an alcoholic and is also drinking to avoid the breakup because none of them want to accept what's happening. And of course, your course is also really good. not a good situation for either of them. There's no love there, as it says in chorus, you know, girl love is pending. You know, it, it's not really working out. Paper Crown. Paper Crown is the first song by Alec Benjamin that I listened to that wasn't in his album narrated for you, and I really liked it, so I then listened to other songs outside of the album. When all she needs, when all she wants, when all she finds, when all she needs, Gabriel. So, apparently, Gabriel is based
based off a story from a Bible, but I'm, I've never read a Bible, I'm not Christian, um, so what I gathered, without knowing the stories, what I gathered is there's this guy named Gabriel, and, uh, he's a priest, it literally says that in the song, and, uh, people confess their sins to him, uh, but he can't really vent to anyone else. He takes a boat and he leaves because it's a lot for him and he's kind of stressed out. And at some point he comes back, but all their sins had ruined everything. It makes you feel kind of bad for Gabriel and then it asks you a question. I don't feel like it is. Like, if these people couldn't, like, keep their, keep themselves in check without him there, clearly they need to figure out their own things or being a bit too codependent on Gabriel, but just my thoughts. Anyways, that was my top five favorite Alec Benjamin songs. If you liked this video, leave a like. Uh, leave a comment if you want. Um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already. This is what YouTubers say, apparently. And stay derpy, stay murpy, stay hydrated.